What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Nick. And this is my story of how I failed college. I'm from a small city in Arkansas that we don't need to talk about, but but I was kind of the quiet kid. I kind of just stayed to myself and went on with my day. Hold on, hold on. Disclaimer, disclaimer. This is a disclaimer. This story is not about telling you not to go to school because, you know, and then you may want to go to school. I just didn't know what I was getting myself into. So I was the quiet kid. I never really said much. I kind of just didn't feel like I belonged in a lot of ways or whatever that may be. But I decided to go to the University of Arkansas. And I imagine so much like parties and football games and a bunch of girls and all of this stuff, which makes no sense because I'm a quiet kid. It wasn't like I was about to get out of my comfort zone, but I thought that going to college would make me, I don't know, do do more just because I'm in the moment or, you know, you only live once, YOLO, blah, blah, blah. I thought that school would be it for me. But then I quickly realized that I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So for my major, I chose engineering, which to this day, I kind of still don't know why I chose engineering, but I figured that I was good at math, so why not? I never really knew what I wanted to do in life, so plus everybody who knows what they want to do, you know, I still don't know what I want to do, but you know, hey, got to find some way, right? But I wanted to, I figured that I would do engineering in hopes to find something or find a love or honestly I had toxic thoughts maybe I was the way I really thought about it was I can fake it till I make it like I halfway like math so I was like oh, maybe I just do this and make the money and then eventually I'll find something I like but then once I got to college and I didn't know anybody well I roomed my roommate was a friend of mine that I've known since I was young. So he was the only one that I knew. So I was I was comfortable a bit with not knowing anybody because I had him there, but because I knew somebody at least. And I'm from a small town, so it's kind of like, in comparison, my town had, my town had like 20,000 people at the population at the time. And I'm pretty sure at the school, it was 20,000 students that went, so it was kind of different for me. I didn't know what, I mean, I felt that I could do it because I've never- I never worried about a bunch of people. My business, I could keep it moving and, and I would just handle my business. But it's like, as the days went on, I realized that I didn't really want to do engineering. It was kind of odd because I was I started to panic a lot and I didn't really know like what would I do because I don't want to do this so I was like all my classes I started not to care and and I didn't really know what what I wanted to do in my life so slowly and surely I stopped going to classes I stopped doing anything and that makes if you know me you know that's very not normal you know that's not normal for me because I care about my grades and I don't know have you ever been like found something very fun or you found something fun and you all of a sudden don't like doing it anymore like for me I felt like everything was smooth but then once I hit college it was like I don't know what I want to do I don't want this I don't know what it is that I want but I don't want this so I started panicking. I didn't know what what to do. I know I saw people and 
I know a lot of people noticed that I was probably looking depressed because I, I was, because I was, I knew that school, I knew that going to this school meant so much because I would be like the first to graduate. And I just wanted to, I don't know, I wanted so much out of going, but I didn't, I never knew what I really wanted. So I knew this was gonna come to this point to where the road with me. What? I knew it would come to a point where I have to somehow figure out a different way because I knew that faking it wasn't going to get me anywhere. So I kept trying to think about what I wanted to do while not trying to fail at the same time. But I felt so demoralized that I just stopped going to classes. And eventually it got to the point where I had like basically failed this semester. So then like, I had like a scholarship going at the time. And I knew that, well, for this scholarship, I had to have, uh, it was based on a yearly, based on a year term. So though I failed the semester, I could recover in the next semester. So I had failed the previous semester. So the next semester I ended up doing really well, but then I had to take summer classes to make up for how bad I did in the first semester. So I ended up taking summer classes and things didn't go too well because I had online, well, I had online classes and I was taking some from a community college and some from University of Arkansas and I was like, I could do this, but then other things come up. I was getting distracted by just random things and I end up not being able to pass and it really changed everything for me. Like I, at some point I realized that I wasn't gonna be able to continue going to the University of Arkansas. That had been my dream school since I was little. For what reason, I have no idea, but I don't know. I just imagine so much. I used to go to all the football games. So fun just seeing what I would see on TV. Then they would say I went there, but in the end, what does that even matter? So, I end up failing and speed you up to present day. I am currently working a nine to five that I don't like. So all of that story just to say, please find a way, find out what you like, figure out what you want to do because you don't want to work the nine to five or like a job that you want, don't want to work. You need to actually try and give it your all because I took college for granted, I think in some ways, but I always knew that I needed to try more or things weren't as easy as I wanted, as I imagined it being. So, I'm working a nine to five and it's it's kind of demoralizing because I had so much high hopes for what I was gonna be doing at this time and what I should be doing, but in the end I'm here. But now there may be a second part to this story, you know, because I'm about to attempt to go back to school in this upcoming semester in hopes to at least graduate with a degree. I want to go for business this time, but what does any of that matter? But I want to say that college isn't for everybody, but it, it's a good starting point to change in your life. Or For me, I don't, I'm not used to seeing, well, personally, anybody that just has a lot of money. I'm trying to find a way to elevate, you know, but it's like, where do I go if you don't really have a passion? So it's kind of, it's 
it's kind of I'm kind of in a weird spot right now, but hopefully I'll find some along the way. You know? But yeah, that was the story of how I felt college. Uh, if you liked it, uh, let me know what you liked, or let me know your experience, or what you think about college, or what's different from what you thought versus reality. I never knew how to study in college, so. Anyway, if you have any other suggestions or anything else you wanna know, any video topics, anything, um, let me know. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.